Essentially, all flight simulators work the same. To simulate the flight dynamics, environment, flight system and parts of a real aircraft, the simulator software needs to create and modify thousands of variables. During the simulation, your inputs, which can come from joysticks, rudder pedals, flight panels, keyboards, mice, button boxes and other hardware, send commands to the simulator which in turn modify these variables. However, devices like joysticks, which have push buttons, can only send commands to the simulator, which limits the interaction to just one way. The best and most realistic experience comes when you interact both ways, that is, you send a command from a hardware device to the simulator, and the simulator in turn also changes something about any device, such as turning on an LED or sounding an alarm. This is called interfacing. When explaining this feature in simulators, I like to use the landing gear as an example. Clearly, we will be oversimplifying this example, as landing gear functionality is actually a lot more complex. First, let's analyze this diagram which shows the full cycle of interfacing. Then let's go over an example with a landing gear panel. First comes the input which you provide by interacting with the device. The device is connected to an interface card, and the interface card is connected to your computer, typically through a USB port. Natively, your simulator cannot communicate with the interface card, so a software or program has to sit between the card and the simulator, monitoring the inputs and outputs sent to the card, and also monitoring the changes to the variables in the simulator. Let's go over a complete example. When we analyze this panel, we can see a lever, LEDs for the main door and the three landing gears. When the gear is up, all LEDs are completely off. The lever has a built-in push button that sends a command to the simulator to raise or lower the landing gear. Each LED and landing gear has a variable assigned in the simulator and monitoring software. The sequence starts when the input is received from the landing gear. The wiring from this button to the card closes the circuit and this button is triggered on the monitoring software. The software sends the command to the simulator, which in turn lowers the landing gear, then changes the variables for the gear's LED, from a 0, which is off, to a 1, which is on. The interfacing software picks up on the change of these variables and activates the outputs that correspond to the LEDs on the interfacing card. Depending on the simulator, these can be called controls, variables, or data refs. In this example, we use data refs, which are used in X-Plane. So what does this look like in the simulator? You can see the data refs here changing in real time as I lower and raise the landing gear. Please note that variables in data refs can change per aircraft. In MobiFlight, which we are using as the interfacing software in this example, you can see the value for the nose gear go from 0 to 1 and vice versa. If you would like to dive deeper into this topic and even create your own interfacing software, then please look into the software development kits for each simulator. If you would like to review the types of interfacing and plug and play cards available for home cockpit building, then check out my video on the subject. I have provided all of the links in the description. There's a lot more to come, so please share the videos. Hit like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.